All right, so we're gonna be talking about bees today. In this pumpkin patch, there's about three different types of bees that you'll probably see. Uh, one of them being honey bees. This is the bee that we all know, they make honey. They collect nectar from flowers and they take it back home and then we eat the honey. You won't see these bees too often in here, but you may see honey bees. Uh, they're out working and we have hives um, that are put out to pollinate the pumpkins. Probably the next most common bee you'll see here would be the bumblebee. We don't rear these bumblebees, they just live wild and they come and they pollinate the pumpkin flowers. And then the last bee that you'll see, probably the most common, will be the squash bee. These squash bees pollinate pumpkins, squash. And when pumpkins came up from Central America to here, the squash bee also came with them. The squash bees live in the soil and they're solitary. We'll see if we can find some. This is a bumblebee. I saw one earlier. Bumblebees, bumblebees. Sometimes the bumblebees will just take a nap in the flower, which is cool. Oh, get this, get this. So this right here, this flower is different than most of the flowers you see. If you come out and look at all these orange flowers, most of the ones you see are male. But this one here is unique, that's a female flower. That female flower will eventually turn into a pumpkin fruit. And if you look at that, you can see there are two bees in there. Those bees are pollinating the fruit, which is amazing. If we don't have these bees, then we'll never get to have pumpkins. Whatever they're doing in there, they're doing a pretty good job because we've got a lot of pumpkin fruits out here. Just pick this pumpkin right here. This pumpkin was growing right there. Oh, there's another one right there by your foot. All right, we're gonna give you a little run through of how these pumpkins work. Here's a pumpkin vine. So here's the vine. And at each node, here's a node, here's a node, here's a node, there's a node. At each node, a leaf, a tendril, a flower, right here, a little bud, and it has the potential to make a root. Also, see this root right here? So that's at each node. So this is a node, this is a node, this is a node. The space in between the nodes, we call this the inner node. So this is the inner node, the inner node, the inner node. Anyway, at the node, you get a tendril, a leaf, a flower, and a vegetative bud, and a root. So this pumpkin will grow along the ground, and these roots will go into the soil and attach the vine and then these flowers will bloom and bees will carry pollen from the male flower to the female flower and then we'll show you that now here each pumpkin plant will make a male and a female flower cool. so here is a female flower which is open right now and you can see that female flower is a little different than most of the male flowers you see that has a different flower part in the middle which is called a pistil and it looks pretty crazy, but that's what the pollen sticks to. And the bee will carry pollen grains from the male flowers, and as they go into the female flower, the pollen will brush off the bee and stick to the pistil. And the pollen tube will grow down the pistil into the ovary and fertilize the pumpkin. And then on the back side of this flower is a little baby pumpkin fruit. So once the bee has done the pollination there's no need for the flower just the fruit so the flower will will fall off you know it'll shrivel up and fall off but the fruit will remain and this fruit will grow and grow and grow and grow until it turns into a pumpkin so this flower that you're looking at right now is a male pumpkin flower different from the other female pumpkin flower so this flower has petals which we all know but on the inside of the flower is what's important. That's the male part of the flower, and that is called the stamen. The stamen is made up of the anther and the filament. The anther is this part here, which is dropping the pollen. And if I touch it, you, well, you can see a little bit of pollen on my finger. But there's a lot of pollen down here in the flower, which has just fallen off. Okay, so the, so the anther drops the pollen. Uh, the filament just holds up it just holds the anther. So if we take this flower apart, let's see here. So here are the petals. There is the 
anther and the filament. Uh, these would be the, the calyxes, the sepals. Um, they're pretty small. And then, and then below it here, there are some holes here on the, on the sides. And in these holes, sometimes you'll see the bees will stick their proboscises in there. And they're trying to get in here. And I guess there's some sugar in there, which they really like. But as they try to get to this sugar, they have to brush up against this male part. And that's where the pollen sticks to them. And then they go fly to another flower and do that. And that's how they pollinate the pumpkins.